Yo, we are live. I'm not going to be live for that long, though, because I do have something, a call that I need to take in about an hour, but I might be streaming again later tonight. I know this doesn't matter because no one's in here right now, and I'm just talking to the VOD people, but yeah, I'm going to be playing Marinsus. Uh, I just bought this deck in real life. Well, I'll have it soon, but I did buy it. Um, it's a very cheap deck. It's a rogue deck. Um... I don't know, it literally was, like, almost free with how cheap it was. But, okay, let me go ahead, and I need to learn how to play this deck better than I currently know how to play it, because I'm not that great with it right now. I really haven't even tried playing the deck in about eight months. I had thought about it with World C, but I didn't actually try it out. Um, so now I'm trying it out again. I want to I wanna learn this deck, like, really, 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 really well. Like that 0081040 person unrated. Okay, going up against Shuff. Good luck. And what better way to like learn a deck than just hop in rated and see how it goes? So let's see. Uh, they're going to go first. Opening hands. I have triple hand trap. That's pretty good. The engine in my hand's a little bit awkward. So doesn't have to summon a level 4, can summon any Marin Sus in defense, okay. Well, let's go, finally catching another stream, what's up, what's up, what's up? Um, okay, I guess that's fine, I have double Valor. So go search, grab Fenrir. Activate Desires, now that's going to be getting hit with Ash Blossom. Yep, better have it. Better have Gamma than a Banished Driver. Nope, oh, okay. So they have Fenrir. Means they also have Unicorn in hand, probably. Or they have Birth, one or the other. Valor is gonna be good against either or. Summon. Uh, summon's fine. Effect, Chain Valor. Bro, I saw one Negate Pass and I was hoping for Salad. Roar Pass, OP? Hey, that's pretty much what I'm playing. Now, this. I kind of lied. It's two negate pass. Sometimes, sometimes. You can go for great bubble reef, set trap, or have trap in hand, pass. Oh, jeez. Don't tell me they open birth with this, too. I guess birth wouldn't do anything. Say the normal summon bell. Yeah, beat the os. This would be the dangerous one. Okay. Draw. I'm um, just clearly more skilled. Um. I mean, it's just imperm and then try playing. I know that they have Fenrir in hand. I can't go for game. Can't. That's, that's, see, that's, I need to learn this deck better. I need to learn it better. It'll be like this for at least a few matches with the deck. Imperm, negate, and then it probably needs to be like normal summon, effect to special. Bring this out from hand and defense. And then make Sea Angel. I could go Blue Slug, so I'm back out Mandarin underneath of it. But it's probably just make Sea Angel, Sea Angel, grab Dive, activate Dive to special summon back out Pascalus. No, I actually do think I just do like the Blue Slug Mandarin thing, even though it's going to kill the follow up. Big thing. Sea Angel, Sea Angel, Summon, Birth, Birth, Summon, Two, Coral, Summon. So all I get is four with that. Or if I use Mandarin, I can go Mandarin, Blue Slug, Special Summon out. And then go Sea Angel, Sea Angel, Search. I guess it's like almost the same outcome either way, eh? Do I need the extra body? One, two, coral, summon, add back, triangle, four, make bubble reef. I don't need the extra body. Okay. So I guess it is just like link, summon, effect. Also didn't draw any of the good ones. I drew I drew like both the awkward ones. And then grab this. 
Okay, and then just use these. Go up. Yeah. Effect. So I'm back out from the graveyard. Dang, this is an early DBG stream. I know. Why don't you do something like road the one on DB? Um, I don't know. Road, well, road the one on DB just sounds horrible. I'm not going to lie. You have to play so much DB. And like, you, you just have to go through the struggles of playing DB for that many hours. I've done something like that before. But it wasn't, I didn't really like it that much. I'm not going to lie. Go into this. Fact. I know I have done that. Back to add back. Like, I wouldn't be completely against doing something like it, but it's also just hard to make a series out of it. And then, effect. Okay, go ahead. Discord. Add wave. And then... Dive, summon back. I guess I should have made uh, the blue slug first, right? Before doing that? Okay. Okay. That's fine. I mean, you could stream it and upload highlights on YouTube. I can't stream that much. Summon back. Oh, and also, I can't stream on, like, actually taking rated seriously. Because, uh, one, when I stream, I play a little bit worse. Because, like, I'm trying to talk to chat. And at the same time... It's not even that. It's like, I mean, it's that. But it's also like, I'm going to get stream sniped at some point if I stream like that often. Because it, it takes a long time to get the number one rated on DB. It's not like a short grind. So, I'm supposed to summon this. It's just, a, I don't even know what line I'm trying to do here. Like, what even is this going to make? Am I supposed to go Aqua, Bounce, but then I don't have Triangle to summon back? Was I maybe not supposed to go for Dive and to set up the Field Spell and Field Spell beat over? I want to watch back this game afterwards real quick and see if there was a better line. I'm going to like Marble. No, I can't go into Marble Rock. I guess I could. I could go on a rock. Do I just have to make World C and World C banish that? Um, World C turns off Princess Wave. There's no way I'm doing that. Wow. I think I'm realizing that I messed up like super bad. Guess I could just make this. Um, can't fully focus on the game. Gotta interact with the boys. True, true. Yeah, just go for that. Feels so bad. I guess maybe there was. Oh, you know what I was supposed to do? No, cause they have pressure planted up. So it would just be a crash play then. Yeah, I don't think crashing is even, like, better than what I'm doing here. Standby phase. Effect. Banish for cost. Banish sea angel. Mm. But yeah, I bought this deck in real life. Uh, it's very, 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 very cheap to buy it. So I bought the deck. So now I'm full committed into like learning it very well. Go ahead and negate that. Make my guy unaffected. Okay. And then I draw one. New chain link effect. Gang attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I bought the deck and was like, okay. Well, actually, I looked at the price of the deck, and I saw that the deck was, like, literally $10 to get the entire deck. And I was like, okay, that's a very cheap price. I wanted to make more Remote Duel uh, content, so that seems like the deck to do it with. Uh, then I'm also going to pick up, like, some of the new decks. I don't know if I'll buy them, though. I might just borrow them. 
Uh, it is like four mats too late for this deck. True. But doesn't mean I can't learn it very well. It's still like a $10 deck. Okay, so <laughs> you always gotta say four now. You gotta trick him with that. Scare him a little bit. Hmm. Like. Oh. I thought they were gonna crash maybe someone Fenrir. End phase is fine. Yes, floor and defense is also pretty okay. It's not good. I'm not supposed to be in this position. I'm supposed to be losing way worse than this. There's no way I played that other turn correctly. Oh, I can't banish those. So I just have to banish this, which feels bad because this is like an extra body. Uh, but yeah, I have to. I have to. Did they say okay to that? Oh, they did. Cool. Draw. Effect. King attack. I <laughs> uh, would love to see more remote duels on the channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will be making more. That's why I've been like... So I'm like, one of the reasons I'm practicing this deck is because like, you know, I bought it. So now like, I want to make better content. Still standby phase anything. You're good. Flu effect. You're good. Why did you not just crash last turn with 32-32 summon Fenrir? Now you're just summoning a unicorn during my standby. Maybe I should have just banished Blue Slug and kept Mandarin in Grave. Knowing that like Coral Triangle probably wasn't going to come up this turn. I could put another Link 1 in Grave. I know you're supposed to banish Sea Angel every time, especially because Sea Angel co-links to World Sea, which can come up. Because you can bring it back off of this. You can, like, get a big co-link World Sea and, like, pop their back row after banishing their field. Now I need to go, like... Still only have one level 4 in rotation. I guess I can get two, though, because now I can get Dive and Battle Ocean. So I need to go, like... Normal summon, effect, special, and then I can summon seahorse, it's still the same way, like with its own effect this turn, okay, no unicorn effect there, nice, well played, link off, summon, And then effect. Try to go search. Oh, it's supposed to be slug. Yeah, it's supposed to be slug. Cause then I can go slug, grab seahorse, seahorse, or seahorse, summon sea angel, sea angel, grab battle ocean, make coral. Uh, coral summon back. Turn those up. Grab dive, dive, battle ocean, rank four, rank four, pop, battle phase game. Okay. I guess I can still do like not the same thing. Almost the same thing. I gotta have game this time around, right? There's no way I don't have game this time around. I can go I have Bubble Reef Live too. Oh, I should have banished Coral this time during standby phase. I want something to summon back off Bubble Reef. Bubble Reef effect to summon a water that's banished back is broken. I need to be doing that. Summon effect to add back. Grab back the seahorse. And then. Okay. Link. Summon. And then. Effect to summon back out triangle. No, this can go. I guess this can just go summon this. Never mind. I was gonna say. Coral summon Pascalus. Special Seahorse. Make Marbled Rock. 
Coral add back dive. Marble Rock add back wave. But now that got hit with Bell. So now it's just like special summon out Seahorse on res anything. Nope. Summon out Seahorse. Make a three. Coral effect. Add back. Alright, am I supposed to go World Seed first? World Seed Banish, Summon, 25. Um, this gains a total of, what, 2,000? So, 25, 43, 25, 43. Let me do the math. I don't want to mess this up. 25 plus 43, 68. Okay, I have game. Yes, I have game. I'm going to use this effect to summon back out Mandarin. Effect, discard, summon back out Mandarin. And then I'm going to use this to link in the World Sea. And then I'm going to go World Sea effect, banish the field. You should do some roasting. Uh, roasting slash judging deck list again. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to do that um, probably right before the set comes out. Like the Cyberstorm Access set. Okay, so I'm going second against Cash. Doop. Doop, boop. Um, I guess those can come out. Those don't seem that great going second. Not sure what else I'm supposed to take out. I feel like I could take out more engine. Like I could take out like this, this, and the sign of monings. And that just leaves myself with like 11 names. But I also play desires. And I'm going second. So like I should still draw a name. Does it take out Ash? To put these in? Because these cards are just like way higher impact. I guess they have Prosperity and Desires. I'm fine with taking these out. I think it's just those. Three, six, nine. I'm setting a ten, okay. Is Talents even that great in this matchup? Where I have to normal summon, I get stopped, and then my Talents isn't good anymore. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Take out the Talents. Okay. The side deck I haven't thought about very much. I kind of just copied it. Uh, all my homies love Market Watch Grinder. Isn't that next week? Oh, uh, no, no. The set drops the first week of May. So it's uh, like two weeks away. So I'll make the video soon. Oh, Shifter is tough. My hand was crazy, though. Nib, Imperm, Eclipse, Blue Thing, and Seahorse. And the Seahorse. Okay, actually, I put a prosperity for six. You're good. Also, not sure why you do that in draw phase. I'm supposed to do that in main phase. Maybe you like bait talents. Like, oh, I have talents. Don't gamma those. Pressured planet's looking pretty good there. Okay, grab pressured planet. I don't, shifter I can't do anything through, right? Like, there, there's actually just nothing. Yeah, this is actually just nothing. So I think I'm supposed to just, like, let them combo, and then hope that I can just drop Nib on the end board. Yeah, I'm down for that. So... <laughs> I really don't know how I'm supposed to win through Shifter plus Engine. Grab Theosis. But I bet you that's how, like, eh, like so many decks feel that way about Catch Tira. Because Shifter is such a good card. Okay, Theosis. Summon out Fenrir. And Fenrir effects fine. You're good. Go grab out Rise Heart. 
Rise Heart Summon. But yeah, I wanted to hit this early stream. I had like an hour where I was going to be doing nothing. And I figured I may as well fill that hour up with something productive. There's three face down. Okay, so they're not playing in the nub. Which is fair enough. A hey, shout out to Nate the Bait 6600 for the follow. Thank you. Appreciate you. Go for a rise heart. Sure. I'm just losing because my deck can't beat Shifter. I could easily have beat the engine here so many different ways. But summon end phase, sure. Like, what do you want me to do? Drop nib during main phase? Like, okay. Main phase. Hitting draw phase. Oh, you're good. Anti spell. Sure. If I just go like set dark rulers, set book of eclipse, set imperm pass, do they do anything? They go arise heart, banish, effect to attach, and they just don't do anything from there. Unless if they happen to have like more plays in hand. Okay, so. Set, 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 pass. I've got a question why you have the e-girl tag. Um, I don't know. I figured if I put that there, I'd probably get more viewers. Go ahead, banish. And then they're going to go ahead and attach. That's why I have, like, the e-girl, the v-tubber. Maybe they'll play in the nib this time. Hopefully. Setting and waiting is probably the move. Yeah, I mean, I have to. Because I can't do anything through the shifter. DB Grinder is my favorite e-girl. V-tabber. Yeah, V-tabber. V-tubber. However you want to pronounce it. I don't disgrace against V-tabbers around here. Switch to attack. Sure. Like, you have a Zeus. What's up? Seems like you kind of messed up, eh? They put, yeah, they, they did not play that how they were supposed to. If this was their play, if all I did was set and pass. Draw, standby phase, main phase, think. I have dark ruler. And then I can just activate here, and then I can just try to full combo. So, dark ruler, boom, nice, well played. I'm insane. And then... I don't know this combo, but this this should be an insane combo because I have like everything. I have the normal summon into the special summon into the dump. I already have an extender in hand, so I can get blue thing to go dump. I don't think I dump Spring Girl here, right? I don't dump Spring Girl. I feel like I'm supposed to dump Mandarin. Mandarin's like a free body, but Spring Girl is a really good add back. And it's still a free body, but I can add anything back. And I probably just need to like kind of focus on the follow up because I have Eclipse. So Eclipse should just cook them. Okay, I'm down to dump that. Dump that. Go ahead, Link. Into Blue Slug. Add back Mill. Feels weird. One, two. We 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 were never missing off this. That's what I thought. I'm insane. I'm actually just. I'm so good for that. I'm so good for that one. Okay, head back. Then special summon out seahorse. Use that, make C Angel, C Angel effect to go search. This isn't going to do anything though, because I am under anti spell. So this is going to grab a dive. Actually, going to be like follow up, I guess. Like set it and bring back a body next turn, even though I already have infinite bodies if I get to that spot. Link, go in the coral. Oral effect, summon back. Could also Mandarin summon. 
I think I want to get to Stealth Kragen. Stealth Kragen pops their card. It does play into my own Eclipse, but if their first play is like summon a body, I can go Stealth Kragen, pop it, and then their next body I can go Eclipse. And this outs the Arise Heart too right now. Okay. So. Coral, Coral, Summon, Triangle, need one extra body. I have the extra body, so I can just do this now. But I don't have to do that now. I can actually just hold it and wait. Use those, Summon, Effect, Summon back from the graveyard. They might have Bell. Okay, that's fine. And then, I still have Mandarin to Summon, Spring Grill to Summon, I guess I can't go exactly into what I want to go into. I don't really need to make a Link 4 though. I guess I can just go in the triangle and search. Triangle is also a pretty good follow up. Effect, summon. Hi guys, how are you? What's up, what's up? I'm good. Uh, so summon that out. And then use those to Link into the triangle coral effect add back seahorse effect discard seahorse and then search out the marincess wave game two or game three uh game two game two imagine i said game one they have anti spoiler okay and then summon out spring girl by banishing Effect, banish, special summon, overlay these, and then summon. Hey, shout out to Nate the Bait 6600 for the sub with the prime, the little shark dance. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Rogue EB said Marincess with a little mad face. Well, you can't be mad at Marincess. Marincess, you got, you got Rogue in your name, right? I don't know, but th this deck's fine. I, I want to get better with it. And then, effect, go ahead, destroy. Uh, probably should be detached this. I guess that could come up where I could use this to have to, like, add something back. Has Goliath attached. It's negated. I'll have to. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. No worries. No worries. I can go. Set dive. Pass. Yeah, I don't want to make the. Oh. I don't want to make the link four. I think the Link 4 is pretty bad here. It doesn't really seem like it does a whole lot. I still have a Negate. I have Stealth Crag and Pop. I have Eclipse. I have Triangle. That's going to give me follow up. I'm very fine with just passing here. Yeah, no damage. Yup. Getting that back. This also making everything a water is funny. This can work with goes in like really, really, really well. You know, I don't like goes in that much in this deck. Especially when you have like an in engine trap card. Cause like I don't want to play too many trap cards. Those cards are weird going second. So I like cut it down. Hey, shout out to Panda Force 1603 for the follow. Thank you. Said BRBP. Yo, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Giving me flashbacks. Oh, GG's. Just a genuine, oh, I thought they were going to say, yeah, I threw, I messed up. Just a genuine question because I'm dumb. Ask away. Alright, what did you have to ask? Why was Arise able to be destroyed if you had Goliath attached? Isn't that the effect of the link? Yeah. 
Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. No problem, no problem. It's always good to learn how cards work and everything. I know how they work for the future interactions. But they went pressured playing a turn one for Unicorn, right? They've had two turns of drawing. So they didn't have Unicorn before, but they have more new cards than they have old cards. A Unicorn last turn, any engine card last turn probably just wouldn't have been used. Unless if it was like Rise Heart. Rise Heart would have been used. Yeah, Rise Heart would have got Big Bang back, would have got a second material on a Rise Heart. Summon. Okay, so on Summon, just use this. Go ahead, destroy. Burn. And this doesn't do original attack. So. Well, I guess. It's just 100 extra. Because everything's water. So, 13. That's kind of a funny interaction. Pressured Plana versus Stealth Kragen. Stealth Kragen actually just makes everything a water. So then they only gain 100 attack instead of gaining more. That's actually going to come up a lot. I bet it, I bet it will. It's a good interaction though. But alright, went through the first play. You got another one? I have Marincis Wave. I also have Book of Eclipse. So I should definitely have enough to win. I'm actually just going to Book of Eclipse their next play. Marincis Wave. Whatever they summon on my turn. Protect myself from hand traps. Yeah, only if I have Link 3 or higher. Yeah, I think it's yours then. Yeah. I was, like, I was just showing up from the hand. Like, I, I knew I won that. There's no way I could lose. Wow. I beat Shifter, Anti-Spell, Unicorn. With Marin Sauce. <laughs> that was crazy. I'll show them the rest of my hand. Show them the goo real quick. Oh, jeez. It's unfortunate drawing double shifter. You can go into like the dad play though and try to make the other shifter live, which is cool. But GG's, GG's. Okay. This is my current deck list. I haven't put a lot of effort into it. I thought about the deck less than 24 hours ago. And I've kind of, I watched like Josh Kipp's deck profile and I watched what Shannon Long had to say about it. And I agree with, like, some of the things that they each have to say. Um, I don't know. Marinsless Wave definitely could be cut down to, like, a one of. It wouldn't surprise me if this could cut down to one. Uh, but it is nice to have it for the second triangle search. But at the same time, I am fairly new with the deck. Um, so my plays right now may just be incorrect. It's kind of like how I was playing Sprite before, new format. And I felt like Pixies was needed. And then once I played the deck for like a week, I was like, okay, this card's actually not needed. It uh, doesn't, doesn't come up if you actually play well. Two Mandarin? Yeah. I want, I want to, like, this card just seems crazy. Like, you just dump it, and then it's just a free body. I don't know. I like it. Um, I could see it being cut down the one, though, because you, you don't actually need those extra names. Because you have, like, so many names... And, like, Desires makes your deck 38 cards instead of 40. So, like, the math is even a little bit better on your cards. Um, I saw everyone play 3 Sign of Mining. I don't know how I feel about that. I know Sign of Mining can get you Spring Girl. And that's, like, your best extender play. This card also just seems bad. Um, I kind of like Desires more. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that'll end up changing. But I need to... I want to hop into some Solo... Okay, and then solo. Is Marincis good now? Oh, uh, no, I wouldn't say that. So I know what one Spring Girl does. One Spring Girl gets you Link 4, right? Because you go like that, middle of the top card. I was going to say, we always assume it's a blank. Dive, summon back, Link up. Oh, wait, you're actually not supposed to use Spring Girl yet. I, I, literally, I literally did the same thing yesterday. Yeah, you're not supposed to use Spring Girl yet there. 
because then you're supposed to go in the coral and then coral effect summon back and then use those to go in the blue slug add back and here's where you mill okay i was gonna say i wanted to i'm just gonna assume it's a blank um go into that coral add back discard it for triangle grab wave oh wait i don't have anything to add back huh that may be a problem so I have to like summon this by banishing and then turn coral plus spring girl in the triangle, leave that on board, and then I can add this back and discard it. Okay, so I can get to the same outcome. I just need to do that a little bit different. And then summon, and then I have like runeless wave plus like a draw one. I really just want I really just want to play like great bubble reef second effect like i just want to use that all the time every time i play and i watch you enter the duel i feel pressure oh every time i play and watch oh no no, no that's fine that's fine oh look at this though it's a lot of interruptions i'll draw one during their turn holy hey shout out to lyra zero for the follow oh i actually i got my my tier deck is like completely done now. I got it like my real life one. I have it sleeved up too. It looks crazy. Cause I have like, I got I got a double sleeve on it. I've like never double sleeved before. Hold on, let me check the camera. Yes, yeah, so I got like a double sleeve on it. Um, it's like the whole deck too, not just that. So like the whole deck is double sleeved and it looks nice. It feels nice. I don't know. The thing, one thing I feel about double sleeves, I don't like how, like, right, so it's like a normal sleeve, right? You got this, at the top, you can, like, push it down and pull a card out, but once you put the double sleeve on, the double sleeve goes on to where, like, now instead of pushing at the top, like, it opens at the bottom, and I don't like that it opens at the bottom, so, like, I definitely have been playing with these cards a few times. I, like, push down at the top, and I, like, throw my card out of the sleeve. And I guess that's something that, like, you get used to, and you, like, you learn not to do that, but... I don't know. Um, bro showing a kick out so oh god, yes. Oh, this isn't, like... This isn't, like, a new tier list. Just, this is, uh, this is, like, full power tier. This is, this is an old format deck. I have this as an old format deck. Um... I'm about to have Dragon Ruler Mirrors. I have, that's almost done actually. I have them like in this little box right here. Dragon Ruler Mirror is gonna be crazy, especially cause I own three Secret Max C and I can finally use those now. That's gonna be nice. I see so it's to play with friends, yeah. It's, it's just like fun decks. I also have like Edison soon. It's like the Edison Hero Beat is like fifty dollars for everything because I already have gores and then I actually have a nice I have a ghost or gores and then there's uh what is it not Edison uh oh the dragon ruler decks yeah both dragon ruler decks is like two hundred dollars or something like that which is kind of a lot but at the same time like I don't know I really want to have dragon rulers for dragon ruler mirrors even though Spellbook is probably the better deck in that format, uh, the Spellbook deck is not fun to play against. It's fun to play versus Dragons. But okay, okay, okay. Let me hop into another solo. I gotta keep testing the hands. Uh, what you currently playing if you were going to Attorney this week? What would I play? Like, current format? I'd play Cash Tira. Normal summon, effect, go dump. Um, seahorse, link off, effects, one, two, three, let's go, we were never missing, go back, what do you think about the ninja deck, I don't like that deck, I do not like that deck, go ahead, summon, get rid of that, that's summon, effect, grab dive, I can summon from deck with that dive, one, two, 
Summon, fix one back, go into that effect, add back Seahorse, and then I can go that effect, discard Mandarin. Right? Is this the play? Because, like, I could add back something else. It says Seahorse, maybe I grab back Blue Thing. Pascalus, Pascalus, summon from hand. Then I have like Spring Girl. I do have Battle Ocean too, so I get to go for Aqua in this hand, which is nice. I kind of want to, like, I definitely want to go for the rank four, especially because I open goes and. Oh, it's blurry. Unfortunate. What deck are you looking forward to in the next format? Purely Super Heavy Samurai. Both those decks look fun. This, this, they both seem toxic. They're definitely toxic, but they seem fun at the same time. So. I think it was actually not that bad. I guess there's really no difference. I just don't get Spring Girl now. Yeah, I guess I want Spring Girl Mill Effect. Okay. Summon. Banish. Oh yeah, I forgot to actually add the trap. Add the wave. And then, oh, hold on. Instead of making the four there, I could go Battle Ocean, Dive, Pascalus, Blue Thing, and then Link off here. Uh, then this can go in the Aqua. And then I get Aqua, or I get Battle Ocean, Spring Girl. So that will attach these two for me. I don't want to attach Coral in case if I get stuck there. Or actually, maybe I should, but it, it, it does play in the Fenrir or some. Nah, my hand's actually just crazy against Cash. Oh, I actually shouldn't do that, though. Because I, I want to keep my spells and traps open. And then I get the mill three. Cool. I hit a spring girl. Okay. Overlay. Summon. Goes in. Eclipse. Marincis wave. That's a negate. And summon. That's a pop. That's a negate and unaffected. It's a floodgate. That's an eclipse. And I have a lot of follow up. But I didn't end with the Marincis monster in hand. So I had to have done something wrong. Or maybe I committed too much. Maybe I should have just uh, committed a Mandarin at some point. Instead of trying to commit my Spring Girl. Because I could have just gone, like, you know, leave this in hand, right? Battle Ocean, activate Dive, Dive Summon. Pascalus, Pascalus, summon out blue thing. And then at that moment, I can go activate this, summon out to where triangle points to, and then banish and keep this in hand instead of keeping that in grave. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that more. Because I feel like you just always want to end with one in hand. It's kind of like salad, right? Like you can have a stack graveyard, but you're still going to need to be able to make the link one to do anything. Uh, what do you think about Mana Dome? Uh, I'm not sure yet. It's a lot to do with that deck. What's toxic about Super Heavy Samurai interaction points? Uh, it's toxic because it's like one card, like four or five negate. So it's like one card FTK pretty much. And then the deck plays like 17, 18 hand traps. So it kind of makes for like not the best matches, right? It's kind of like Sprite Mirrors. Sprite Mirrors just didn't feel that great. But then there's also, like, another deck in the format, the Purely deck, and you, like, have to hand trap that deck. So, like, you can't just try to, like, Board Breaker versus Super Heavy Samurai. Uh, they also can just, like, Game 2 Spell Canceller to play around Dark Ruler. Oh, yeah, I actually opened Battle Ocean plus Dive. That's crazy. It's, like, never supposed to happen. It's actually bad to open both bad to open both because then your sea angel just isn't really doing anything but it's kind of rare to draw both um 
I could start with a dump. I don't think I want to start with this though. I think I'd want to start with this. Not show them my extension or anything. Oops. Summon, effect add back. Summon, effect go search. Search Jinzo, set spell canceler with genius. Yep. Any on spell canceler do be kind of crazy though. Link in the coral. Coral effect, summon back. Well, yeah, to, to that zone. And then. Just make triangle. And then effect, add back. Discard, go search. Cross out maybe meta again with all the hand traps. Um, maybe, but the thing is, is you have to draw hand traps and cross out, like, isn't a going second card. Like, it can stop their hand traps. Super Heavy Samurai can't play it because they can't play spells and traps that go to the graveyard. Uh, so here I can go... I have Dive Summon from deck, which summons, and then Effect, Dump, Summon. Okay, 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 okay. So, activate, activate, go Summon, Summon out. Pascalus. I guess I no no someone out with thing, yeah, because I need to get the dump effect, dump, dump Mandarin, Mandarin effect, summon itself out, and then that is the I I think Mandarin is a mandatory one of at the minimum. For sure. Summon and then this will go ahead and equip. Banish the special. Feels weird. Like, maybe I should have started with that play, because now I never get to look at the top three cards with that. Yeah, okay. So, I, I think I learned I was supposed to start with Battle Ocean Dive if I open that kind of hand, because you always want blue thing just to try to, like, look at the top three cards and just try to get, like, a free card. Like, some free advantage for no reason. Um, yeah. It's, it's literally just a free duality if it hits. Super Heavy is going to be meta. Oh, yeah. And decks like Math Mech. Maybe. Maybe Math Mech can play it. It'll probably be like a side deck card. I don't think it'd be a main deck thing. I think it'd be more of a side deck thing. Just because y you have to actually draw so many hand traps. So, like, to play cross out with hand traps. Because you, you kind of need to draw a double hand trap, like, every hand. If you want to draw a double hand trap, you know, that's 17. So you have to play, like, 17 hand traps, roughly, around there. And... If you also play the cross out, then now you're sitting at 20 non-engine, which is a lot of non-engine. So, I don't know. P purely, I think, is more toxic than Super Heavy Samurai, though. I think Purely is definitely more toxic. Let's see. Do a hand. Okay, this is, like, exactly the same as before. Let's see, is there a line with this? Let me just like try to commit summon, bring out, use that, get dive, dive summon out, use those, go in the coral, coral summon out, then, oh I wouldn't even make blue slug right, cause the next play is just turn those into this, coral add back, and then discard the mandarin I add back, get that. Special summon out Spring Girl by Banishing Sea Angel. And then just turn that into that. Effects. Add back. Mill 2. Burn. Yeah, so there's not really that good of a line here. It's just like, it's pretty much the exact same thing as what I normally do, except. I end with this in hand because I just had one extra body, which checks out. This card is nice and grave. Okay, next hand. Go sign in mining. Actually, I'll start with desires. Uh, it's like, do I want to start with desires? I kind of want to get a battle ocean set up. 
But I also want to hold sign up mining. Yeah, I should start with this. Because I want to hold sign up mining for spring girl. Okay, cool. And I didn't get punished off that. Draw, draw. I do draw spring girl, though. I still think I just go sign up mining discard. And then that'll grab out this. Effect to go dump. I already have Mandarin and Grave. Need to get Seahorse in there. Link. Summon. X. Okay, miss. Special. And then link off. Summon. Search for field spell. Link effects. I'm back out from the graveyard. I guess I can summon Pascalus from Duck. That's like pretty good. It's like just another follow up card. So summon. Activate. Summon. Chain block. I'm not going to do all that though. And then new chain link this card. Add wave. And then activate this. Go special out this. And then here I get to make a choice. Do I want to go into a rank four? Or do I want to not go into a rank four? And I think here I do. So I can go like summon. Summon. And then go ahead and use like these. Summon. Equip three and then like that it has like now I have triangle follow up, I have Pascalus follow up, I have coral follow up. So I feel like that that's a lot of ways of follow up. And then I also have like aqua summon. So like four separate ways to follow up there I feel like is worth it. So with this hand, I feel like I don't need to end with the Marincess in hand because I went for like the Battle Ocean line with that. And I have Pascalus with Diving Groove. And then I guess I just go like set set. Actually, I don't even think I equip all three. Same, same thing as last time. I think maybe I'd just do it like this. So that way I can keep my wave live. Okay, that's fair. Does this stick get any support from Siak? Oh uh, no, it does not. Best deck post Siak if we don't see any major hits to cash. Uh, it, it's probably, it's either purely or super every samurai, I think. It might be Mana Dome. Need to put more time in with that deck, but I need to like focus on super every samurai right now. That's the deck I'm really focusing on. But, um, I do have to go. This was just going to be a short stream. I might stream again later. Um, let me go ahead and host my good pal Nesh TCG I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I know this was a short stream I couldn't stream longer I have to take a call in like three minutes but it's gonna be a good call it's gonna be a good call um it's gonna be content that'll probably be made in about a month so that will be nice as long as everything goes smoothly and well It'll be on my Master Duel channel when the time comes. I'm not allowed to say a lot more about it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and raid Nesh now. See you, bro. So definitely branded. <laughs> uh, see you. Take care. Take care, bro. Everyone stay safe. Um, you know, tell Nesh that. Tell Nesh what's up. Go ahead, follow him. And see you. Have a nice day.